One of the best things about thick paint is that you can paint on thick paint layers with non-thick paint brushes. In other words, I can now paint with thick paint and then go over it with an airbrush or blend it with a regular blender. Not all brush types can paint on thick paint, but many can. Essentially, the depth functionality of thick paint and impasto have been combined. However, while enabling impasto allows you to interact with the color and depth of a thick paint layer, you cannot use thick paint brushes to interact with impasto on a default layer. There is a new brush category called Thick Paint Compatible with several default brushes to give you an idea of the variety you can choose from. Many of the brushes in other categories may also be compatible, and you can easily convert your own custom brushes to become Thick Paint Compatible. The compatible dab types are Captured, Circular, Computed Circular, Single Pixel, Static Bristle, Dynamic Speckle Bristle, and Dynamic Speckle Particle Spring Gravity and Flow. The only compatible methods are Cover, Buildup, Eraser, and Drip, plus Plug-in with the Liquid Brush subcategory. I'll load the Thick Paint Compatible template, and let's select a brush to paint with. To make it easier to identify which brushes will be compatible with Thick Paint, you can filter the variants in the brush selector to show only Thick Paint Compatible brushes by clicking the button that looks like a funnel in the top of the panel. You can also look for the brush compatibility icons in the brush selector. The colored layer icon shows for any thick paint compatible brushes. For example, the General Oils Impressionist Classic brush. I'll disable the filter. When painting with thick paint compatible brushes for the first time, you may be presented with a warning message asking if you want to paint on the thick paint layer or create a new layer above it. You can choose a default behavior and make it permanent in the Special Layers tab of the Corel Painter Preferences. I prefer to continue painting on the layer without showing the warning. When I paint on the thick paint layer, you can see that I'm able to add color, but I cannot affect the depth of the paint. In order to enable a regular brush to add and or plow through paint depth, you must also enable impasto. To make the process easy, a flyout for impasto is available in the properties bar for any brushes that can support impasto. You can use this flyout to enable your brushes to interact with thick paint depth. You can also access additional impasto properties from the advanced brush controls and general brush controls. I'll open the advanced brush controls for convenience. If I enable paint with depth, that allows the brush to affect the paint depth. You can choose to paint with depth only or color in depth. Depth only works great for adding or removing depth, whereas color in depth is best for blenders and brushes that add paint. This effect is especially noticeable in the thicker paint on the right. You can fine tune how the brush interacts with the paint depth using the impasto panel. If I select my custom digital airbrush and enable paint with depth only, I can paint a small overlapping dab on the thick paint to build up paint that bulges outward. If I enable negative depth, then I can erode the thickness until the paint is completely flat. If you paint with a brush that has impasto enabled on a default layer, you will create impasto. However, if you start with a blank thick paint layer, the impasto is treated like thick paint. I prefer the additional control provided by the thick paint layer, such as the visible depth slider, over a default layer with impasto added. If you happen to start with impasto on a default layer, you can convert a default layer to thick paint, but you will be forced to discard the impasto depth. While painting on thick paint layers is exciting, it's also wonderful to be able to blend thick paint. This allows you to mix colors without having to convert the layer first. While not all blenders will be compatible, many are, and you can get just about any kind of blending effect. Speckle Diffuse Blur is a custom brush I created that mimics the behavior of the Diffuse Blur brush, which is not compatible with thick paint layers. Coarse Oily Blender is a smudgy blender with a dab stencil. You can see this not only blends, but also adds a lot of texture to the paint. Just Add Water gives you a much softer blend, but it looks a little funky if you have any visible depth enabled. I want to remind you that you do not have to use any depth with thick paint. When I remove the depth, this brush works a lot better. I can even use my smooth palette knife to add some paint and then blend it in while maintaining the look of thick paint. 